borders are already known as the cycling capital of Scotland. And now to add to that title, there's a new offering. Yes, a skate park and pump track in Walkerburn, which cost £180,000 to build, but it is already proving really popular. Isla Todd reports. Jumps, tricks and wheelies. This pump track in Walkerburn hasn't officially been opened yet, but that's not stopping the locals from enjoying themselves. The Tweed Valley is a really big place for cycling. But I think it was more in this village that there was very little for the youngsters to do. They just do classic youngsters sit in front of the television or the tablet. So to get out and have physical exercise has been fantastic. So it's been really well built. Um, it's, it's a nice track. It flows well and it, and it can cater for a range of abilities. So, you know, from beginner through to, through to expert. So I think, you know, as locally, I think we've got we've got a great facility and I'm really pleased about that and I and I think we can you know hopefully deliver sessions on the track we can we can develop young riders it's taken three years to build the track here which cost £180,000 115000 came from Scottish Borders Council and 65000 from Sport Scotland and the idea was a local one I guess my background is cycling. I was a professional cyclist. I've worked in the industry. Um, I project managed the World Championships up at, up at Glen Tress and uh, I lived in Walkerburn for nine years. So um, really passionate about cycling. So I guess I, I had the idea a few years ago, let's, let's get a pump track in Walkerburn because I, I, I know that when you can get kids on bikes, you can develop their skills. There's so many opportunities that open for them. This time last year, the UCI Cycling World Championships were taking place in Scotland with some competitions at Glentress, just up the road. And it's hoped that that competition and the Olympics that are currently underway will inspire the next generation. It's fantastic and this is the kind of thing that we want to see all across the borders in our towns and villages where cash will allow us to do that, to provide facilities for children and young people that they can stay in their local communities, they can have a good time and they have got something worthwhile to do. In a statement, Sport Scotland says, the investment provided by the Scottish Government and the National Lottery to deliver the Cycling Facilities Fund has allowed us to harness the interest in cycling generated by the 2023 UCI Cycling World Championships and deliver a lasting benefit for the nation and the sport. And it's already caught the attention of the locals. Uh, yeah, when I heard about it was getting built here, I definitely got excited because it's just down the road. And I I've ridden a lot of pump tracks, so it should be good. I moved to the area because of mountain biking and for the college course to do with mountain biking as well. It doesn't officially open until next month and floodlights are still to be installed. But the road to success here in Walkerburn is open to all. Isla Todd, ITV News, Walkerburn. Yeah, the trap proving very popular that's already, great, getting a good it? test in, in a beautiful setting as well. I'm intrigued yeah. by the mountain biking that's college that's course fun. as well. Know, that sounds great as doesn't well, it doesn't just... it? It really does, yeah. Lots of cycling to celebrate in our region, looking fantastic there.